Hello fellow cyborgs and welcome to a book haul. I have 12 new additions to my physical TBR and why don't I jump right in and tell you what they are. For those of you who have seen my East of the Bell Jar announcement video, which is my buddy reading project with Acacia from the Chaotic Little Book Corner, I'll link that video down below, you will know that I have picked up a couple books specifically to read with Acacia. The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath is Acacia's favorite book of all time and we are reading each other's favorite book of all time for the first part of East of the Bell Jar's project. I have heard really good things about this and Acacia has assured me that there are no trigger warnings for me to be worried about in this otherwise pretty melancholy book, so I'm eager to see what I think about it. I also purchased Hangs a Man by Shirley Jackson upon Acacia's recommendation and then we're also going to buddy read this together. I'm slowly working my way through Jackson's work since I really enjoy her writing style and I do particularly enjoy these editions. The reward for a Kickstarter that I backed by Jessica Ferry came in and this is her book Silent Cities, New York. This is the hidden histories of the region's cemeteries and if this is what I think it is, which I think is what I think it is. Fairy travels around to the different cemeteries that service New York City and tells us stories that can be found within those cemeteries. I think that's what this is and if that's so I am so incredibly ridiculously excited because that premise is why I enjoyed a fiction novel Her Fearful Symmetry by Audrey Niffenegger. Part of that book is taken up by talking about Highgate Cemetery and that was my favorite part so hearing about some American cemeteries in the same way is very exciting for me. Even more exciting than that though is on a recent walk around my neighborhood on a new path I took, I found that we have a neighborhood book box book exchange in front of one of my neighbor's front yards. I was so incredibly excited and it turns out that I found a gem in there. This is There There by Tommy Orange, very highly acclaimed on booktube. Tommy Orange is a First Nations author and this story, from what I can tell, all centers around the gathering at a big powwow. I've been meaning to get to this but I waited for the paperback and then I kind of forgot to order it and now it has come into my life for free. Don't worry, I did put two books that I was unhauling into the box in exchange for this one. As as you may know, I intermittently participate in Libby Stevenson's The Bard Book Club in which we read Shakespeare plays and then she makes awesome videos about them. It's a really great reward for me to read Shakespeare plays if I know I have that Libby video as an incentive. Ordinarily, I borrow the plays from my library since I prefer to read in physical form than on my e-reader or just on the internet. My library is still not open and I'm not sure when it will open and there are some upcoming Bard Book Club picks that I really want to read and participate in. So that kind of spiraled into buying nearly all of the upcoming plays for the Bard Book Club and then some so I could qualify for free shipping. These were all used copies and they are glorious. In June we will be reading Richard III which is a history. I cheated and did not read the three plays preceding this, the Henry VI plays in order to prepare, but I'm hoping that I'll still get something out of this one. In July we will be reading The Merchant of Venice which is infamous for being completely anti-semitic, however Libby assures me that there is good things to be found in here. Libby is taking August off to have an actual summer holiday from teaching us over over YouTube, but in September we will be picking up Romeo and Juliet, which is the start of a mini series of Shakespeare's plays that have to do with falling in love in times of war. In October we will get to Troilus and Cressida, which Libby highly recommends and I'm really excited to try out since I don't know anything about it. We will be reading Julius Caesar in November, though this is not a romance in the time of war, it precedes the December pick which is a romance in the time of war. And that is Antony and Cleopatra, which we will be reading in December. I needed approximately two more Shakespeare plays in order to qualify for free shipping on the order that I was so close to qualifying for, so I bought these. I have read Macbeth, though I don't remember particularly appreciating it, though there is the cool witch scene at the beginning. I do want to reread this, and since this has not yet been covered by the Bard Book Club, it's just a matter of time and I will be prepared. I also picked up The Tempest, which is one of the other really fantastical plays that Shakespeare wrote, a la Midsummer Night's Dream. I haven't read this, and this is the one that has a character named Ariel and also Prospero, who's a magician? Question mark? It just sounds like one of the Shakespeare plays that I would be interested in trying out for myself. So I have read most of these eight plays by Shakespeare, though I have added them all to my physical TBR because I do need to read them in the future. And by most, I'm a liar. Well, let's see. I've read Macbeth, I've read Antony and Cleopatra, Julius Caesar, and Romeo and Juliet. So at half of these I've already read. So I'm eager to re-explore them and to discover the new ones. So those are the 12 new additions to my physical TBR, which puts my physical TBR now at 24 books. Please let me know in the comments down below your newest book acquisition and thank, thank, thank you for watching. Until next time, continue to be lovely.